Well, it is one of the most important days of the year for high school football seniors in Connecticut. Players from around the state announced where they'll be playing football next year. Never too soon to look ahead, I mm -hmm. guess. Channel 3's Joe Zone reports that even while football participation here in Connecticut is down, the enthusiasm for National Signing Day has not diminished. UConn football coach Randy Etzel has 11 players committed to play football next season at UConn two from Connecticut. He has room for a dozen more and expects to have those commitments on the second signing day in February. Players from all across the state held ceremonies at school today to make their announcements official. But the truth is, high school football participation in Connecticut is declining, down 15 percent in the last nine years. Those numbers don't really have an impact on UConn because Edsel recruits most of his players from out of state. I think the thing that I've probably seen, Joe, more so because and having the perspective to be able to, I think in certain pockets of the United States, you might see where it's affecting certain areas. But when I go to Florida and I go to Texas, you know, you see the numbers there and they seem to be not having any problem with having the numbers that they have and the number of teams that they have and uh, within their high school. There's no question that the downward trend in football participation has correlated with the recent studies on the game's safety, in particular concussion risks. Etzel says that the reports on how unsafe football is might be slightly exaggerated. He says it's still all about the way the kids are taught. If you teach the proper fun fundamentals and then if you as a player work to do things the right way you know you minimize any kind of risk that you have you know i would hate to see you know people withhold their kids from playing this now do they have to play when they're you know six and seven years old no boys participation in other fall sports in connecticut is on the rise but not enough to compensate for all of the kids who have left football some local coaches are concerned that there will come a time in connecticut when there won't be enough players for schools to field teams. A time when National Signing Day will have little meaning here in our state. Joe's own Channel 3 Eyewitness News.